Good day. In this video, we will be looking at TBC 590 feature extraction enhancement. We will focus on the stockpile extraction workflow. Let's now have a look at the new stockpile extraction workflow in TBC. As you can see, I already have a point cloud loaded and there is a few stockpiles around that we can utilize for calculation. Uh, let's look at a 3D view of this. There we go. And let's focus in on those stockpiles down there. Okay. Go to your point cloud tab. And under extraction, you'll see the extract stockpile button. Click on it and it will open up your extract stockpiles window. Over here, you have boundary extraction and extract new boundary or select an existing boundary. So you can even use existing boundaries if you want to use this functionality. Let's use extract new boundary. Click in the pick a point and then let's click a point on the point cloud. Now you will see a yellow rectangle that shows the area it will extract the stockpile from. Please ensure that this is double the size of your stockpile. You can make it a bit bigger like that if you want to. The ground flatness threshold, it just depicts how flat the ground is around the stockpile area. So for this extraction, I can go to 0 0.05. It's fairly flat around. And then when you're happy with your selections, simply click extract boundary. As you can see, TBC has now extracted the boundary for me. If I'm happy with how the boundary was extracted, I can simply name the stockpile. You can change it in there if you want to. And I can add this new boundary to a new layer as well. There we go. Choose a color. All good. So now I have a name and a layer. And if you're happy with all that, simply click add. As you will see in the volume calculation section over here, your stockpile one was added, but nothing was calculated yet. That you can do when you are ready or because we do have more than one stockpile around here. Let's go and select a second stockpile. Same process, extract the boundary, and when you're happy, simply click Add. The name will automatically up to stockpile 2. Again, you can change the naming as you see fit for your purpose. Add that one. That is completed. Let's quickly do a third one. Click again on the stockpile, extract the boundary. Happy with the boundary. All good. If you're not happy, as you can see, you can still click a point again and then update the boundary if you're not happy with the extraction. We'll simply click on add. Let's do one more. Click on that one. Add. See what that looks like. Oh, sorry. Extract. There we go. Uh, it's not bad at all. And we'll simply add that one as well. Once you're happy and you have done all the stockpiles you want to, you can go down to this area in your volume calculation. You'll see we'll calculate the base area, slope area, volume, the date, and then it will create an initial surface for you as well. Uh, when you're happy with that, you can see the tick boxes. You can decide which ones you want to calculate or not. We will calculate all four and simply go to calculate volume next. TBC will now create an initial surface and a stockpile surface and then do a surface to surface volume calculation for each stockpile. As you can see, there we go. All four stockpiles were done and their volumes were added as a text already for us here. You can see in this volume calculation window, there you can see the base area, slope, volume, the date, and the initial surface. Take note that in your Project Explorer, you now have a feature extraction option here. In the drop down, you'll see stockpiles, and when you do that drop down, the four stockpiles will be listed. If I go even further down with the drop down, you'll see the final and initial surface is under stockpile one. If we want to have a quick look what that looks like, Let's quickly switch everything off and let's switch on initial surface one. And what you will see it did is just simply use the boundary to create that initial surface for you. 
when that is done the final stockpile is then actually utilizing the point cloud to give you your stockpile when you're happy with that and you want to get a report out you will see you can export to csv or you can just create a report if you click on that this will generate a pdf report that you can then utilize for your clients slope area base volume date and the which surface was used to calculate with the date as well for all four stockpiles so there you go so that is how simple and quick the workflow now is for extracting stockpiles in TBC.